you know, most of the time there is nothing like ancient wisdom. And in this case, I would say that is absolutely 100% true. And I have to remember this and kind of go back in my own history to know that I didn't uh, utilize uh, this, what I'm going to talk about, and how it hurt me. And it can be hurting you in your relationship with any man. And again, you won't understand necessarily how uh, this happened or what made something go wrong in your relationship. And it's very, very simple. So as you can uh, tell from the title of this video, and first, if you like it, and uh, if you'd like to make a comment, please do that below and also subscribe and share. But when you like a video uh, in particular, it helps other people see it that wouldn't necessarily see it. And I think this is very profound. And again, it's not uh, certainly not mine. It's from the Bhagavad Gita and hard to say, but so important, which is an uh, ancient Hindu um, it's in an ancient Hindu text and certainly one of their most profound teachings. So what is it and uh, what can you do with it and how do you utilize it? And I'm going to, um, to tell you all that. So first and foremost, um, I'm going to give you the saying in kind of a, a bit of an updated uh, version, but not really. I'm, I'm not veering from most of the English translations of it. And that is, he who sees inaction as action and action as inaction embodies intelligence. That, that's a, a, a loose translation. Uh, and what it means basically is that there is power in not doing, not taking action. And it is as powerful as taking action. Here's the key. The wisdom is to know when to utilize which. And that's the, 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 the salient point of it. And when we do this in so many ways with men, it embodies our wisdom as women and it also embodies our feminine energy. I utilize this a lot uh, with women, as I told you in the beginning of this video, that when I have not utilized it is when I really went wrong, when I look back over my history. It, it's as simple as that, uh, because feminine energy is a receiving energy. It's also a giving energy. So there's, there's that reciprocal part of it but in the, the letting go and simply receiving and using inaction, we are actually taking a very positive action in relation to men. This is mostly seen in, um, in texting and reaching out. And I have a, a few of my videos that I'm going to put the, uh, the links uh, below. Uh, do this not to get a lot more. That's a recent video I did how to get more time with him and wrecking havoc on your relationship. They all, there's many more, but these three in particular certainly uh, talk about what I am talking about here. Because when we don't act overtly and sometimes even uh, in, in responding to a man, uh, we are utilizing inaction in a way that produces or manifests his action. There's so much on this. There's so much more I provide on this in my work with clients individually and also in my, in my podcast, Make Him Wonder. It's very important that you, you really start to embody this and become it in a way. And what I mean by becoming it is, is is reminding yourself through repetition. And it's why I do videos on many of the same things, but saying them in a different way. Because it's sometimes just hearing it in a different way that helps us to understand. This is not, again, my wisdom. 
I just saw the wisdom of it and how it's really helped so many of my clients get centered in uh, what they need to do to really create the relationships they desire and deserve with men, with a specific man. So I want that for you. And it's what I'm all about. It's why I wrote my book, uh, Why Won't He Commit? How a Man Decides to Make You the One. It's why I do my podcast and provide real life love and relationship coaching conversations on that podcast because that's where women really get uh, the objective knowing that comes from listening to others. And in my work, in my programs, it's where women get the objective learning the subjective learning in our talking together and interestingly enough a uh, an in-between neural learning which is hearing themselves back in talking to me is a part of my program i really think is special my programs so if you are interested in coaching in any way i hope you will reach out to me you can reach out to me also to be on the podcast make him wonder and we can be having a a conversation there so I look forward to that and to our next discussion here. See you then. And until then, don't forget, remember the saying that he who sees inaction as action and action as inaction is an intelligent, wise man. And I say it is an intelligent and wise woman which as a Wonder Woman, you are here, and I will see you next video. I trust you got a lot of good information from today's video, and I enjoy bringing you content that is valuable for success in your romantic life. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the alert bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And if you want more on any of the content you see here, you can go to my book, Why Won't He Commit? How a Man Decides to Make You the One. You can order it at any fine retailer where you get your books. And if you want more on me or any of my programs, my podcast, go to coachpaulagrooms.com and we could be talking soon.